Hey guys, what's up? It's Adam here, aka to see the guy. Okay. Um, for those of you who haven't seen my previous video, I said, what do you want on this Antel Synagogue Network? What content do you want to see? And the one thing I keep on seeing is people want to see movie reviews again. Before I get everyone's hopes up, I just want to say, this might be only a part-time thing or a one-off thing. I might upload a movie review every once in a while. But I don't upload like random videos of me reviewing movies for the sake of it or anything like that. Everyone knows I'm a busy person. And I've got a lot going for me next year, moving into my new house, etc. And so just bear with me on the time. But I've got some spare time right now. And right now I'm going to give everybody what they want. They want to see a movie review. I'm going to give you one. Despite me reviewing this movie two times already in the past. <laughs> well, people want to see me like remake those videos, do re-uploads and all that kind of shit. Because I feel like it's like watching the old days of Antal Asina guy. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. What better way to kick off doing a movie review on one of my all-time favourite horror movies, which stars Tony Todd and Virginia Manson. Have it right here on Blu-ray. Candyman. Okay. Now, Candyman, I think, is a terrific movie. Uh, the reason why I say it's terrific is there's loads of reasons for that. Not just because of the story and the acting and the music and all that kind of stuff. Legendary things about this movie, but the reason why I, this movie holds a place close to my heart was because it scared me. <laughs> yes, this movie really scared me when I was a kid. Um, of course, you have to be like 18 and over to watch it. Um, but I watched this movie at a very young age, when I was about, I say about 9 or 10 years old, I believe. Maybe it's a little bit older, I can't remember the exact time when I watched it. But when I did watch it, it was like like a terrifying experience. Of course, when you're young at that age and you're trying to understand how things work with movies and all that kind of stuff, it's like a whole new world. And this movie, Candyman, really scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Okay, I've met Tony Todd, who plays Candyman. I met him in real life, and I was honest with him. I said, Tony, your performance scared me when I was a child. <laughs> You know, I thought this movie was brilliant and it would be great to see Candyman again in the f near future. But there are some rumours going around saying that Tony Todd has re-inspired his role as Candyman in the remake. Now, I've got mixed emotions about that, but that's another video for another day. This is purely on this movie right here, Candyman. Now, some people might watch Candyman and think, how the fuck can you find Candyman scary? I thought it was laughable and all that kind of shit. Well, one thing I've always said in my movie reviews is that we're all unique in our own different ways. We've got different imaginations, we've got different feelings, we've got different tastes. That's what makes us all unique. You know, we're all different. And different things scare different people. It's like some people were terrified of The Exorcist. You know, I'm... Excuse me. Some people would like... Were terrified of The Exorcist. That, that movie didn't terrify me. But then again, I'm not putting people down who were terrified by it. Because, like I say, we're all different. We've got different emotions. And I don't think somebody should bash somebody just because of what they were scared of or what they wasn't scared of. Now, this movie doesn't scare me anymore. But still, it gives me chills. It gives me chills when I hear the music, the deep, booming voice of the Candyman and... I thought Tony Todd made a great job of the Candyman character. I mean, he really brought it to life. You know, with the way he walked, talked, stared in the eyes of death and all that kind of stuff. His facial expressions. He really, it was like as if he really put his heart and soul into the Candyman character. I mean, basically what it's about is it's about this um, university student by the name of Hel Helen Lyle, who's played by Virginia Manson. Um, she's obsessed with Candyman. And she's doing a thesis, like a, a project on the Candyman case. There's been situations where Candyman's never been caught. And there's been some unsolved murders in the area. I mean, the film opens up with this woman telling Helen this story about how this um, girl was slaughtered in the, in the bathroom after saying Candyman's name five times in the mirror. She believes it's all one big joke to begin with. She doesn't believe that the Candyman exists and the whole myth about saying his name five times in the mirror is uh, all fiction. Well, she has a friend called um, Burndette and they're both doing on this project together. They even visit um, Caprini Green, where can the Candyman country um, told like where 
you know he was when he was alive by the name of Daniel Robitaille. Now um, we learn a little bit of background about the characters. Helen lives with her husband um, in this apartment. She's getting concerned about him because he thinks she's having he's having this love interest with this another student by the name of Stacy. Trevor, Trevor Loyal. Anyhow, she becomes really obsessed that she visits like Caprini Green to try and gather information for the project that she's doing. She even goes far as visiting the neighbours of one of the victims who was killed by the Candyman. Um, what was her name? Rufy Jean. That's right, Rufy Jean. She even visits one of her old neighbours, Rufy Jean, to try and find out information about the murder. So she's going to, like into like supreme extreme situations where she will find any information at all about Candyman and she's dying to know if, she, if he exists or not. Well, after when she hears a story about the Candyman, saying that um, Candyman was a painter by the name of Daniel Robertoy, who was hired by this wealthy landowner to paint a portrait of his daughter. They ended up falling, falling in love, she became pregnant, and the father got his revenge by torturing the Candyman, sawing his right hand off with a rusty blade, and he stung to death by bees and then burning his body. And his ashes were scattered over Caprini Green. You know, one thing leads to another. It introduces this little boy by the name of Jake, who also tells Helen the story about how this boy got murdered in the toilets. You know, and I thought that was the very first disturbing scene of the movie. The fact that a little boy got murdered, and you see a scene with him lying on the floor in his own blood, and you go, you know, disturbing. You know, don't forget I was only young when I watched this. So it really opened my eyes to see that much blood over, over a little boy and the fact that Candyman would kill a child like that. So that situation really knocked me about a little bit. The fact I saw a little boy who was my age in a film lying for pulling his old blood and it gets you really going inside and like heart pounding. Well, anyhow, Helen gets beaten up by these thugs who pretends to be the Candyman and in you know, a gang, you know. She gets loosed off, but um, she wants to prove to herself that the Candyman's not real, so her and Bernadette um, say his name five times in the mirror, calling out the Candyman. She starts regretting that situation because things start to change all around her. She begins, to, she thinks that all the stories are becoming true. And everything that's said about the Candyman is now um, becoming realistic. And she encounters the Candyman, which comes to the second most horrific scene, a scene in the ho in the um, apartment building with Amory McCoy, who's played by um, Nessa Williams, I believe. I could be wrong by that. Let me check that. I believe it was Vanessa Williams who plays her, and she was a very beautiful actress. Well, anyway, that scene with the dog's head cut off and the blood splattered all over the baby's cot, with the baby going missing and all that kind of stuff, it was really disturbing. It made the scene with the little boy who was 10 year old covered in blood like a step down <laughs> because the scene with the dog with his head cut off and surrendering all the blood, and she's banging Helen's head on the floor, constantly calling her a murderer. And it was a really disturbing scene. I mean, Helen gets arrested because I think she did all the crimes. And it's interesting because as this film goes on, there was no scenes of like boredom or scenes of any dragging. It seemed like everything was interesting, every single take, every single skit. Because whether it's the story about being told about the Candyman or whether it was like the dark, dirty backgrounds of the streets, you know, the music that was playing every time Candyman approached Helen. You know, the way Candyman um, spoke. It was like poetry. I am the writing on the wall, the whisper in the classroom. You know, all these messages. But like I said, I think Tony Todd did a great job of playing the Candyman. Just the way his presence as the char character really brought it to life. I thought Virginia Madsen did a great job of playing Helen. I thought she did a great job of playing Helen. 
I've got mixed to negative emotions how I felt about Tony Todd in, his, in the sequels to this movie, but that's another video for another day. I mean, this movie was made in uh, the 90s. It doesn't quite say somewhere on this Blu-ray disc what the precise year. But it was in the 90s, one of the best eras of horror, in my opinion. And you can tell it's a 90s movie. I mean, this is a Blu-ray. Of course, it's going to be more clearer and all that kind of stuff. You're going to see things that you thought that you wouldn't see. I mean, it's like the scene in the um, in the parking lot where Candyman's approaching Helen, talking to her. And you can clearly see that Tony Todd's lips aren't moving while he's talking. So you can tell that was like something that was put together and the audience wasn't meant to see it, basically. I mean, it was interesting seeing this movie on Blu-ray, but judging how dark and dirty the streets were in Caprini Green and the fuzziness of the background, especially the intro when you've got the booming music and the bird's eye view of them cars and the traffic and all that kind of stuff. It was more interesting seeing this like on DVD or VHS. I mean, I brought this movie first on VHS, then on DVD and then eventually on Blu-ray. But um, it would be interesting to relive the moment of watching Candyman like on VHS or DVD again. You know, just to relive them moments. Because I watched the VHS one over and over again until I like, ruined the tape. That's how much I love this movie, Candyman. I mean, Helen finds out that her husband's having an affair with, with um, Stacy, another student. She visits the Candyman in his lair. You know, she tries to make her uh, immortal, like, you know, setting her up with the baby and the crowd, thinking that Candyman's in all the trash. They set fire to the trash. Candyman and Helen and the baby are stuck in there. Helen manages to break through, but later on dies because of all the um, fire effects, and so does Candyman. He dies because he gets set on fire and all the bees fly everywhere in flames, and the baby gets saved, basically. Now, what was interesting about this movie was the fact that um, the ending, because Trevor's grieving over Helen, and he says Helen's name five times in the mirror for no reason, <laughs> and then the, the, the lights start flashing, and then Helen's there with a hook, and she's like, what's the matter, Trevor, scared of something, and, you know, and splits him open with the hook, and Stacy finds the body, starts screaming, and then the credits roll. So I'm thinking to myself, what's going to happen in part two, if they did make a part two? Because I wasn't aware that any sequels existed at this time. I was like, is Helen going to be Candyman's sidekick in part two? Is there going to be any Candyman at all in the sequels? Is it just going to be Helen taking over the role? You know, what was going to happen? So, basically what I was trying to say is there is going to be a sequel. They didn't know how it was going to turn out at the time. But overall, this movie was terrifying. But at the same time, I enjoyed it. I remember when I watched this movie, I literally pissed myself with fear. I was afraid to go to the toilet because the mirror was in there. I was having nightmares about the Candyman. I'd never slept or ate properly for weeks. That's no word of a lie, everyone. I could not sleep or eat for weeks because this movie terrified me that much. It really did. You know, bollocks to... <laughs> Whatever people may think or say about that, but I'm just telling you the truth about how I feel. Overall, this movie is a really ma is a good masterpiece of a movie. Um, I really do recommend it for all horror fanatics. If you've not seen this, it's a classic. If you like your typical films like Nightmare on Elm Street, um, Friday the Thirteenth, Halloween, you will like Candyman. It's one of those far fetched horrors that. Um, that you can't help but fall in love with due to its over the top cheesiness and all that kind of stuff. So, overall, Candyman's the this guy with a hook, says his name five times a mirror, he comes out and he kills you. But, uh, yeah, that's basically what he is. He's a true horror icon like Freddy and Jason and all that. He's only appeared in three movies like the first Candyman movie, Candyman 2 Farewell to the Fresh, and Candyman 3 Day of the Dead. And all those other sort of, of um, films. But in regards to the remake, it's in talks and can and Tony Todd's interested in playing the role again. Will it be as terrifying as the original? I don't know. Am I happy at the fact that Tony Todd's going to be in role as well Candyman despite him now getting on in age? Yes, it would be nice to see him again as the Candyman. But 
Again, will he put his heart and soul into it like he did in the first movie? The first movie had it all. It had the music. It had everything. Would the remake beat that or make it better? I don't think so. But it may still be worth watching. Okay. So that's my movie review on the movie that scared me when I was a kid. Candyman. Okay. I hope I've gave you everything that you wanted to see, everybody. Um, I will review the sequels. Why not? Okay. But I'm hoping that this movie has brought back memories, it's made you feel like you want to watch some of the older videos like I did on this channel all them years ago. So, um, yeah, please give this video a thumbs up, comment below, do what you got to do. Thanks for watching this everyone, that's my Blu-ray review on the, on the Candyman movie. Cheers everyone, peace out.